My son kept acting up, so I deep fried his Optimus Prime. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at this thing. Look at how detailed. Looks like it. Looks like an Optimus Prime nugget. Freaking Chick Fil A needs to start selling this thing, marketing it to kids. I could go for some Optimus Prime nuggets right now. What's good, everyone? Hope you're all doing amazing. Today we're going over Mad Lads. Here's the disclaimer. Has anyone found the Easter egg in your Tesla, which releases Cthulhu, our Dark Lord? It's in our V. Cthulhu. Update. I turn hot dog water into ice cubes for guests that I don't like. Oh, that's just... no. I'm definitely gonna have to remember that one, though. Some hot dog flavored ice cubes? Mmm. If someone tried to make me dig my own grave, I would say no. They're going to kill me anyway, and I'd love to die the way I lived. Avoiding manual labor. <laughs> yes. Public service announcement for men. Boxers are not shorts. You cannot wear them outside. Don't tell us what to wear. Teach the girls not to stare. <laughs> That's equality right there. Come on. If you pay me $50, I'll show up at your funeral but stand really far away, holding a black umbrella regardless of the weather, so that people think you died with a dark and interesting secret. And that's the hero we didn't know we needed. r slash shower thoughts. Eventually, there will be so many human beings that having an original thought will be equivalent to winning the lottery. Mind-blowing. Auto moderator. You appear to have submitted a common or unoriginal thought. As such, it has been automatically removed. We broke up last week, bro. What? <laughs> well, that sucks. One time, I was late to practice and my coach made me run laps. My dad was the coach, and he drove me to practice. Ethan paid you $7. Chipotle, 9th grade, your Venmo balance is now $7. My friend I haven't talked to in 7 years just paid me back for Chipotle from 7 years ago. Ethan is a man of focus, commitment, sheer will. So, I was at Walmart earlier. A lady was looking at frozen turkeys, but she couldn't find one big enough. She asked the stock boy, Do these turkeys get any bigger? He replied with a straight face, Uh, no ma'am, they're dead. <laughs> Made my week. <laughs> Take that to the manager, Karen. What was the dumbest solution to a problem that actually worked against all odds? I went to cancel a doctor's appointment and they said there was a $200 charge without a week's notice. I asked how much it was to reschedule and they said it was free. Okay, so I need to reschedule for two weeks from now. Is three weeks okay? Yep. Alright, you're all set for three weeks from now. Anything else I can do for you? Yes, please cancel my appointment. We need a week's notice. Uh, my appointment is three weeks away. Oh, okay, sure. Thank you. I couldn't believe it worked. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What kind of doctor's office charges $200 for a canceled appointment? That's just insane. I left a Google review of the store I'm a janitor at saying it's very clean. <laughs> Use this simple, easy method to get a raise at work. This tiny caterpillar. Aww. Home. Mm. Good and good for you. What's the craziest excuse your man ever told you for not coming home at night? He said he was cleaning his house and mopped himself into a corner. He had to wait for the floors to dry and fell asleep. <laughs> Genius level mad lad right there. Squeaky clean. Supermarket employees prank moron who parked car in shopping cart section. Oh no, that's gonna be a while. A guy named Joe tells Elon that the Tesla autopilot chimes are too loud and waking up his baby. Tesla honors Joe's request and makes a new setting that lowers alert volume. Tesla names it Joe Mode. There's some mad lads working at Tesla, that's for sure. My annoying landlord. I pay this $1,800 every f***ing month and all she do is complain about is making too much noise walking around. So I bought a dog whistle and blow it at all hours of the day and night. Now I complain how much her dog barks and keeps me up. That is the ultimate petty move and I applaud you. <laughs> That's definitely some petty revenge right there. Whatever works, right? Silver, gold, and platinum for a comment? I'd eat a book if that happened to me. Edit. God f***ing damn it. Give me a few hours. Gotta find a book to eat. Edit 2. It is done. <laughs> With a link to YouTube. This mad lad literally uploads an unlisted video. 
Oh, he's actually eating it. Oh. <laughs> no. Hanny's happy about it. So he throws a book in a paper shredder, dumps tomato sauce all over the shreds, and literally eats this sh That's dedication right there. Jeff Goldblum likes when fans call him daddy. You're opening up Pandora's box, Jeff. Does that look like a man who's afraid of the contents? <laughs> uh, not Jeff Goldblum, that's for sure. He doesn't give a f Cat needs glucose drip after mating with five females in single night. <laughs> nice. Spice up any Facebook comment with random quotation marks. Congrats on your baby. Congrats on your baby. Congrats on your baby. <laughs> Might as well troll around and have some fun. This student wears his It's Tuesday shirt to school every Wednesday in order to thoroughly confuse the rest of the school. That's a god amongst men right there. Yo, sh it's actually Tuesday? Oh no, it's Wednesday. Okay, okay, we're good. My dad never asked for his picture to be taken. Then today he asked for his pic and does the most extra dad thing ever. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> he had to do it to him. Someone in my class did a presentation on why another student is a communist. <laughs> why Quinlan is a secret Russian spy. When you really have nothing else to do a presentation on. Oh my. Set up a candle in front of your Glade air freshener to throw fireballs across the room to establish dominance in front of your peers. <laughs> Haha. Who found that out? Why would you have a candle going and the Glade air freshener going? Either way, that's pretty badass. Disneyland's first ever customer has been using his lifetime ticket every year since 1955. That is awesome right there. Who wouldn't go every year if you had a lifetime ticket? I know I would. I need no boss to order me. Man fired from job keeps turning up and getting paid for four more years. My high school had a $10 fine for swearing on campus. One time, a kid got caught saying sh** during gym. When the principal told him to pay up, he handed him a 20 and said, Keep the f***ing change. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal. Netflix is concerned about some of its users. Someone watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy 300 times in 2018, according to Netflix. <laughs> My friend, you bow to no one. Cow escapes on way to Slaughterhouse, smashes metal fence, breaks human's arm, and swims to uninhabited island where she still lives. Hell yeah. If you gotta go through all that to get some freedom, you deserve it. Decided I will no longer be paying taxes. What are they gonna do? Tax me more? Go ahead. I won't pay those either. Oh, I'm going to prison? The one paid for by my tax dollars? Sorry, didn't pay them. Now there's no prison. I'm at least three steps ahead of the government at all times. How could there be a prison with your tax dollars if you don't pay your taxes? Simple. If you f***ed up in school, you had to meet the teacher after class. F*** up more, you had to meet the principal. In 2004, I used this strategy to go all the way up the chain of command and meet George W. Bush. <laughs> yes. High school teachers, your college professors won't be nearly as laid back as I am. My college professor, trail mix attack. Dear students, while grading your notebooks and eating trail mix, a catastrophe occurred and my trail mix ended up all over the floor and your notebooks. There may be particulates of said trail mix left. If any of you has a severe peanut, tree nut allergy, please contact me so I know to thoroughly decontaminate your notebook. Sorry for the inconvenience. P.S. If you feel like it, bring your EpiPen to class. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. At least he was honest about it, you know? He's saving lives right there. What if we use 100% of our brain? Hmm. This man built his house on a bridge to avoid paying taxes on either side. How? How did he get away with that? That is a cool little house right there. When we were little, my parents threw us a New Year's Eve party, but set all the clocks forward so we thought it was midnight at 8 o'clock. They put us to bed, brought in the babysitter, and went out for the night. This is the type of parent I aspire to be. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Review my order. One quarter pounder with cheese. No fresh onion, no ketchup, no mustard, no pickles, no cheese, no beef patty, no sesame bun. Kyle is ordering actually nothing. <laughs>
a hitchhiking robot that relies only on the kindest of strangers to travel across the world, made it safely across Canada, Germany, and the Netherlands. Within the first two weeks of the American tour, it was found with its arms and head ripped off. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I got arrested, lol. <laughs> first time I saw this picture, I thought she got arrested because of the bathwater. But apparently it's a whole other thing. I swear to god, this girl came to my party and stole my hamster. I have no idea why or who the f does that. I spray painted the f out of her car and got arrested. At least I got my hamster back. <laughs> oh man. First it's the bathwater, now this. Oh lordy. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like that smash button, subscribe if you want more, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.